was very virtual longer than a lot of people. Um, I've always worked remote. And so nothing about it really bothered me in the sense that I was used to making cold calls to people in different ways. So like I would find, oh, I have a story I could tell you years ago when we were pitching. So uh, an earlier startup we had, um, we were pitching for investment and I listened to a podcast and there was someone who spoke on it that was an investor. And so I'm like, well, that's fair game. I'm going to reach out and cold call. So I cold called this individual, was able to kind of start a dialogue. And never in my life has met this person in person. And they've rewritten the narrative in their mind that we have met. And through ongoing interaction. And so whether you're virtual or not, if you can find touch points, you can get to know people. So I have to be honest, it, it hasn't bothered me, really. It's about dribbling in little delights, right? So, you know, you don't have to give away everything. You, you have to have your own understanding of your comfort level with what you share. But it's finding those little things. So like, for instance, if I'm telling a story about myself, I find something where the other person can connect to it or, or get, a, get a little giggle. So for instance, um, I started out in sales really, really young. I was the first rep ever hired by Eli Lilly that was 20. So I'm 20 years old. And here's the funny nugget that is how I let people get to know me. I share that, and it's true, they couldn't get my company car you know, every drug rep had a company car, but not even Eli Lilly and company could get me my company car because underwriting couldn't get that approved. And, and so I did get my car a year later. And it, but, but it's, it's something like that that I share that I feel like it lets people a little bit into who I am aside from just the surface level. And I think when you do that, you're building authentic relationship. You're not you know, you're not keeping it so close to the vest that all they're getting is the business side of you or the picture perfect side of you, right?